So we met Karimji, who is the healing god. Osho, who is like the middle, ball guy, seems the strongest. Kirio, who was cool with Shinji, and then two others whose names we don't know, I believe. Why is he saying goodbye? Also, it looks like Ichigo's Bankai is like really gone. So they're gonna give him a new one? God damn. <laughs> Round eyes and square. You know they're brothers. Cool. Assuming Ichigo's getting like a new Bankai in general. Assuming it's gonna look different. I love that Kubo just does not mind changing the design of Ichigo. There you are. How's Byaku? But I was gonna say, Ichigo always looks recognizable, but he's had so many cool outfits. Damn. Was that the test to see if he's okay? That just shows the resolve. Different kind of guy. Cool, so they're healed. <laughs> Were they training? Wow, that just shows how crazy they are. Okay. But they went beyond my expectations, including Renji. Damn. Lightning fast. Yeah, I was gonna say, he beat Soifong in terms of speed. Of course he is. And he's awake too. But um, so far, Karinji's pretty cool. Who's next? They're about to appoint him as captain, head captain. Zanjutsu? Captain Kuchiki and the others went to the Royal Palace, but there's no guarantee they'll return safely. It's important. We cannot leave him as he is. Really? <laughs> Shansui. Love how he can speak to all the captains too. He definitely has to be head captain. Well, he is. How is she gonna handle the matter? That man's ear. Well, I didn't see that coming. I knew she was strong. They've been hyping her up in a concealed way. Oh, Cone, look at her. What the f- She's the first Kenpachi. I guess that would make sense because she was one of the first captains ever back with Yamamoto. And her name's Yachi, like Kenpachi's lieutenant. Does that have anything to do with anything? That's why Karinji said Retsu like that. I was wondering why he called her Retsu instead of Unohana. By the way, the next person's Kirio. Okay, I'll talk about this later. I'm just so stuck. Let me pay attention. Damn, she throwing down. This looks amazing. God damn. <laughs> Don't tell me they gotta eat all of that. Ichigo doesn't have main protagonist's appetite. The gaton then is a plowless for food. So her food probably does something crazy. Not only that, but it looked good as hell. Probably why she gained so much weight, because she's cooking all the time. <laughs> so she gotta taste her food. Okay, he does eat like a protagonist. <laughs> I didn't think we'd get like this type of vibe in Bleach yet. What the fuck? Try it, it's gonna be amazing, I, I bet. Maybe she has an ability to make everything taste good, like Shion. <laughs> now why are you doing this? So Byakuya and Rinji are also gonna get new Bankais, now that I just thought about it. Perhaps? We can only hope, but Yuha hasn't even shown his full strength. That's why we're eating now. Yeah, he's making it simple. No need to overthink this. Renji is like, what, 150 years old though? Much more wise than Ichigo probably. Still has the same kind of temper.
いできてるじゃないかい I get it. So she burns away like Sakamoto. <laughs> Now focus on rebuilding your body. Die in the next palace. Who's the next palace? Osho's? If you look really closely, you can notice something very big. Grain King. So they all do something very unique. That must be what you need to become Squad Zero. Cause no way they're just so much stronger than Yamamoto that they came up to this squad. Every one of us squad zero has created something in the Soul Society. I literally just said it. So the Soul King took an interest in them because they actually changed the culture basically. So that girl that was arguing with Mayuri probably did something in the lab before she made it to the Soul King Palace. Soul candy. The essence of Zikon is... Okay, that makes sense. Your body should now... That's cool. So even their spiritual pressure has been enhanced just from being up here a little bit and eating. It's totally unpredictable. Oh, that's the brother. Oh, it's Tsunami. Bombshell, you're driving so much information on us. He created Zanpakuto's. How is... How old? What did Osho do? <laughs> Kirio is... Gigai? And Namiya is Zanpakuto's. Oh, we're back here. She's already giving me a different vibe from that first look. It was the head captain's orders. Mukin is completely closed off. Mukin, of course it's infinite. It was decided that this was the only place suitable for you to freely swing your sword. We know Kenpachi has crazy potential, but Unohana is the first Kenpachi. Mm. <laughs> you have no power. That's why she covers that up. The single scar you gave me, he did that. She did that. Oh my god. Okay, no, no, we're gonna learn about it. They're not gonna. Notorious criminal in the history of the Soul Society. Mastery of Thomas Styles and her complete proficiency of the blade. She gave herself the name Yachiru. 8,000 styles. What happened to Yachiru Yachiru? Well, I guess she's Yachiru Yachiru, but the pink hair girl. Once you and Captain Zoraki cross blades, one of you will have to die. Unohana dies. Okay. Why? Look at her. She looks like a ghost. Like a... She left a note and Zaraki left his... There she is. Yachiru must be very important. She doesn't just have that name and this must go way back. Unless she does, but that's a missed opportunity. On top of the blade, bro, she's so clean. This music. Okay, shut up, Trio. You know what he had to do. I admire Wow, we're learning a lie. So she's the reason for Zaraki being the way he is because of her bloodlust in nature. 
cry. She healed him. He blacked out and she healed him. So she's basically doing this until he finally kills her. You will not die. Each time you're on the verge of death, you grow stronger. This nigga's a Saiyan? My sin. Unohana is the first Kenpachi. Much like Yamamoto, over time those two grew more sympathetic, began teaching the younger generation, which meant she had to leave Squad 11 because that captain is automatically Kenpachi, I'm assuming. Zaraki eventually becomes the 11th Kenpachi because he admired her. That's hard. That's really cool. <laughs> you see it coming, but I just didn't know it ran this deep. And they knew that between each other, but the story doesn't go out of its way to tell you until it's most important, which is fine. I guess it wasn't necessary until right now, but it just feels like they just dumped a lot of information information in my head. And on top of that, like, she's not bluffing when she talks. She called him weak. This is the same Kenpachi that took out like three Stern Raiders. Even though Unohana's the healing group, what would she have done had she been out there? So this is the real her. She's still very nice and this whole thing is like training for Kenpachi to maybe unlock it. a Bankai? Cause that, he's in his Shikai right now, right? And he's the only captain without one. Does Unohana have a Bankai now that I'm thinking about it? Do Kenpachi just not have Bankais or is this gonna help him get that? Either way, we just saw him cry for the first time, got stabbed through the neck, healed, I'm assuming. And he's gonna keep getting healed until he eventually kills her. That's what has to happen. He just doesn't know that yet, which is why he left that note for Yachiru. Oh yeah, and her real name is Yachiru. Does that mean anything? Well, yeah, it means master of 8,000 techniques, but I feel like it has something to do with the Lieutenant of Squad 11. Cause I've always found it weird that we're introduced to Yachiru as a baby who randomly just appeared next to Kenpachi when he was killing people. So much to talk about, so I'm gonna leave it right there. Namiya is the creator of Zanpak Toes, which means before him, there weren't Zanpak on Pak Toes. He just created them and then eventually everybody had their own unique like second persona, which also makes me believe now Zan Pak Toes are their own separate being that are just tied with the person. Ishin Shiba, not Kurosaki since we just learned that last episode, also knew the Getsu Gaten show. So what if his Zan Pak Toe is also Zan Getsu? Maybe there are multiple of the same Zan Pak I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just very confused. If before him, Unohana looks older than him. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but she was a part of the first squad. And before that squad was a thing, she was a criminal. It's not unbelievable that Namiya could be that old, but no, he has to be because Yamamoto had a bunk. Kai. Either way, he was using his Zanpak toe against Yuha back then, a thousand years ago. I just can't wrap around my head that Namiya is a thousand years old. But I guess it makes sense for them not to age poorly when they're in the Soul Palace where all this healthy Reishi is floating around them. So sure. Kirio is like, the I forgot, not gonna lie, but she makes some bomb ass food and there's Reishi in that food that allows you to heal. I guess it's very fuel efficient is what I'm trying to say. Like she provides the fuel, which goes hand in hand with Karenji's ability. Also, we did find out that in order to join Squad Zero, you need more than strength. You had to have actually impacted the history, or I guess lifestyles, livelihoods, in the Soul Society. We don't know what Osho did. I'm assuming it has to be crazier than creating Zanpak Toes, because he's the middle, he's the leader. That's just the vibe I get. I have so many questions. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But we got a little bit of Yachiru Unohana's backstory. We see that her and Kenpachi go a little further back. We learned about Namiya, who is now probably my favorite from the squad, even though we didn't meet him yet. By the way, I do enjoy Kirio and Karenji so far from what we've seen. She bad as shit, bro. And Shunsui has been appointed head captain. Can't just gloss over that. That's very important. I thought it was going to be anyways. It seemed obvious, but it is cool that it actually happened. And he also knew about Unohana, of course, as well as Kenpachi. He must have been there to see the fight. I got a lot of questions. Bleach has become very exciting, so it makes me really happy to watch, man. Goodbye. <laughs>